Hello guys, um, this is a follow-up to my introduction to drawing a figure or um, drawing an animal and it's anything at all. But basically the principle will be the same and once you get the logic and the technique you're free to go. So how do I start? I just start here, I'll be brief. Um, with that so you want to see the op you know when you're drawing an object you want to s you 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 want to approach it like a puzzle the other thing will be a puzzle in itself what do i mean by puzzle and that's a match of different shapes that forms um the actual object by the time you cut this out okay you cut this shape out and you you see take note of this see the shape between the legs there and here go to end see the shapes here all this will form the balance of the dog see see the shape here see and when it comes to the outside just what you do is just Draw a faint line, box everything in, yeah, okay, box it in, give some bits of space there. So, when you box it in, it's easier to form the out, outside shape as well. So, all you need to do is from, wait, imagine this is it, we are boxing this, okay, imagine I box that here, here, and here. So, all you need to do is from where You've chosen your point of boxing in you you cut out that this shape with see the way this shape goes and you mark yourself you mark a various point here breast level straight line that's another level here you mark that that's another third level here you mark it see here even if it doesn't correspond to anywhere you still have to mark because it's still at some point I'm going to mean a lot see see here as well and the bottom bit bottom bit as well so when when you do that now you start just choose the point where you start you know remember you box it up and come here start from the box here now you, you can imagine the thick, thickness here so just start from there you know and form the shape here relating to your boxing in that's give you a perfect you know um contour to follow always going to give you a perfect contour to follow you know once you it's easier than trying to just maneuver yourself there's no way you maneuver yourself and get a perfect shape there's no way except you have you've been doing it very well and all what i'm talking about is going on in your head that you know if not if you don't know about it you, there's no way you can score if you go that's why you'll be trying as much as possible you try you, you try to draw a dog and it looks like a snail <laughs> so that that's the secret of it so uh, what do i mean now what do you want to start box give give yourself a box box it in give some allowance where everything can go in then you start you know from the shape technique of the shape like it i would have shaded this out shaded this out these are important things you have to note to get a perfect shape of the dog with the stature with the way standing the way the the posture the gesture and everything will be achieved if you follow what i mean see see this contour here in relation to your box, you know, this one will form some, something here, you start to your box. So when you're doing this, a lot of imagination, imagination that goes on, which is needed. You have to keep, it's like playing, playing a Ludo, playing, if you are good in games, definitely um, this would be more familiar with you because you, you, you are, you're shuttling, you, you're shuttling two, two or more things together. It's not very complicated, but 
you kind of get used to it and at the end of the day you'll be surprised how you get in the shape this will try if if you can master this which is going to translate to drawing faces as well you can imagine you know how complicated face will be and how easy you'll be going about it at the end of the day um this just starts to my um you know teaching how to score a figure we continue from there at a later stage. Thank you.